Hello everybody and welcome back to Outcast Studios. I hope you've all had a lovely day. Please do not adjust your television sets. This is Starsick, you read that title right, but we are starting in the, the Anadonia uh, cottage, the Anadonia shack. For the simple reason of you, you join me as I'm actually charging my client star. Um, you see, the reason we're starting here, and we're not starting over at the Astral Temple, is because I, <laughs> prior to recording this uh, session, actually decided that I wanted to do a time lapse. Partially because I wanted to get the time lapse out of the way so I'd have more time to do things in this episode, but also partially because I was really excited to record Starsick and I just couldn't wait, so I decided to do a time lapse. But the point is, <laughs> I ran out of. I ran out of EMC while I was filming it, so um, I, I had to cut it a little bit short. Uh, we're just going to hop over to that time lapse now, uh, so you can see all of the, the progress I made um, on the mountains. Um, but yeah, I had to cut it short because I ran out of EMC. So uh, I hope you Gucci gamers, I'm never saying that again, enjoy the time lapse. Uh, yeah. Time lapse time. Let's go. Alright, okay, I, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. Um, admittedly, still kind of new to the replay mod, so, uh, not, not, not totally, uh, not totally sure how I'm actually supposed to do them yet, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm learning, I'm, I'm getting there. So, in the last episode, um, we, we made quite a bit of progress. I suppose we can hop over to the Astral Temple now. Uh, just so we can go over the progress uh, that we made. Uh, but we made quite a bit of progress in that we finished the altar over here. You know, the altar is done. Those are some skeletons and a wraith, so... I should probably deal with these guys first. That's east. Dead on dead crime. You love to see it. There we go. Okay, so as I was saying, um... Yeah, in the last session, we finished the, uh, the phase one of this, this here, uh, Starlight Crafting Altar, that's its name. Uh, and we also, uh, got quite a bit of work done on what is going to become the mountains behind the, uh, the temple itself. Uh, but in this episode, since I liked how well the last session came out, I'm actually planning on doing something very similar, in that I have actually planned out uh, everything that I want to get done in this session, though it's a little bit looser than last, last time. So in the last session, I had set concrete goals that I wanted to get done, and when they were done, 
I ended the session. This time, it's going to be a little different, as in, I'm just going to try and get through as much of this as I can before I start getting bored. With the caveat that we're not starting with the Astral Tome at all. We're actually going to start work on a completely different mod before we get started on this page of the Astral Tome. Because I am sick and tired. I am really sick and tired of waiting for this thing to actually fill up my Kleinstar. So what we're going to be working on first is something called a pedestal. No. No, it's... there we go. Pedestal. There are apparently a lot of pedestal upgrades, but the one in particular we're looking for is... Oh, there it is. Dark Matter Pedestal. Here we go. And this requires us to have three, four, five Dark Matter blocks and four Red Matter. And Dark Matter is a, a Tenalis Fuel surrounding a Diamond Block. Now, luckily for us... We have quite a bit of Aetanalis fuel just sort of lying around. So, if we grab this diamond over here, and then we pop on over to the Astral Temple, it, it seems like no matter where I move this condenser, it's always in a really obtuse area. I might just have to build a second one, because this is ridiculous. But let's just quickly dupe uh, a bunch of diamonds using uh, whatever leftover sand we have in here from uh, when I was working on the mountains. Okay, we got... Oh, we're one short. Okay, let's just drop this in here. Uh, sooty marble. I don't have any use for this anymore. There we go. Let's just use that up. Uh, what else can I throw in here? Let's throw the arrows in, the bones, the sandstone, the string, the spider's eye. That's not going to be enough, is it? Okay, one more Aetanalis fuel, there we go, and we have ourselves just enough for... That's enough for one singular Dark Matter, which is blowing my mind. And then we put the Dark Matter up here. Okay. Right. I, I'm pretty sure I still have the, uh, the crystals on me, right? If I check here. Oh, I only have one dimensional shard left. That's not good. I need to go look for some powerful things I can sacrifice to the god of EMC. Because this is not going to go well if I can't. Let's do this, and then we can just chuck the aluminum in here, and the tin. And, oh boy. That is... Not enough. Okay, let's throw the Aetanalis fuel in here. Oh boy, that is not enough. Uh, okay, tell you what then, let's, let's see, do we have, no, okay, I, I was hoping I could pull a little sneaky there and just hook up a cobblestone generator to the top of the, the, uh, the energy condenser so that I could just provide infinite cobblestone, but from the looks of it, I can't, but what I can do actually. It's just going to be easier to bring the energy collector to the condenser and pray that Ruby doesn't find out, because I, I, I don't want him to freak out if he notices the thing that's, like, providing us with a well-being is missing. So, there we go. Let's just plop that down next to it, and it's slowly generating the resources that we need. If we just stick some glowstone on top of here, I'm pretty sure... Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure if I do this, it will actually make the whole thing go a lot quicker. Yeah, it's going slightly quicker. So let's just, uh... Uh, let's just throw the client star in here. I know it means it's gonna stop doing this, but I need them both to charge anyway, so why not? Um, in the meantime, however, what I can do... Oh, wow. Glowstone's powerful. What I can do is get to work on the Astral Tome side of things, because while, yes, it would have been nice to have this finish before I moved on to the next thing, this is just something I'm going to have to wait for, whereas this is something that I can actively do. So the first thing I'm going to focus on, or the first things, rather, are these uh, two things here, the Sharing Discoveries and the Telescope. Now, the reason for the Sharing Discoveries and the Telescope coming first before any of this, when... Most of this probably looks, you know, more necessary, I suppose. Is that these don't have anything connected to them. 
which means it's not one of those things where I just have to, like, I have to compulsively finish the things it's attached to. So, you know, let's, let's get started. So the Sharing Discoveries, or Scroll of Written Expertise, as it's called in the book, requires four illumination powder, some black dye, some stardust, parchment, and a feather. So we have the illumination powder. I know we have that because I had to make an abundance of that to progress my book. And then I realized that it's absolutely useless. So let's let's uh, quickly have a gander at where we put it. Let's check our backpack. There we go. The illumination powder was in our backpack. But let's drop the illumination powder in the corners. There we go. Now, the next thing we need is a feather. Oh, please tell me I saved a feather from making the swift wolf ring, because I do not want to have to hunt for another one. Yes, we do, thankfully. We have three of them, actually, which is very helpful. So, let's drop the feather up here. Let's keep one on me, and then we can just sacrifice the other one to the EMC god. Um... The next thing we need is two stardust. Now, I don't actually know how to make stardust, so let's have a look at this. While star- So we need to make star metal ingots, and to make star metal ingots, I'm guessing, uh, we need something else. Suffusing so iron ore with enough starlight will reform the metal's atomic structure, turning it into a proverbial starlight magnet. Okay, right. So we need iron ore. Shit. Do we just have raw iron ore? I don't think we do. Um Let me check let me check the furnaces. Right, your graphite. And there's nothing in here. I've already checked those, so I'm not sure why I'm checking them again. We've got copper ore and we've got zinc ore. But this is 116, which means which I got scared by the rain. With the way it hissed, I thought it was a creeper. We've gotta, we've gotta get us just some raw iron ore. Oh, you are. There was an area of fossic energy this thick right outside the shack. Are you serious? Oh my! I am the most unlucky mother I have ever met. <laughs> right, let's um. Let's, let's look for some raw iron ore down here. Oh. Well, aren't I lucky? There we go. Let's just, let's just hop down here. Iron ore. Iron ore. Iron ore. There we go. Uh, let's actually grab a tiny bit more. Just because we're gonna need a lot of this starlight thing, and I don't think starlight actually has an EMC value yet. I haven't given it one. So it's better to be safe than sorry. There's iron up here. Here we go. Oh. Hey, Jeremy. <laughs> Hi. Let's just take care of you. There we go. Uh, let's grab this. Oh. Oh, you cheap! That was a single ore. Alright, there's a bit more up here. Let's just, uh, let's quickly grab this. There we go. Uh, is there anything over here? Oh, yep, yeah, more iron up here. There we go. Let's land. You know what? 33, that's just over, that's literally just one over, half a stack. And I did say I wanted to get half a stack minimum, so I think I'm gonna call it here and head back for the surface. Ooh, I hear a skelly bob. I hear a skelly bob. I see a skelly bob. Ow, how dare you. Did you just break my armor? You bag of... At least it was just my helmet, not my diamond chest plate. But seriously, dude. I know I said I hoped last time would be the last time I have to use this thing, but, you know... We all have to go crawling back to an ex of ours at some time or other. Right. Iron. Buddy. Are you gonna... Are you gonna transmute? Buddy, you, are you are you gonna transmute for me? Uh, how do I make you transmute? Am I missing something? 
A star metal is one of the most important metals any sorcerer could use, but does not occur naturally. Suffusing iron ore with enough starlight will reform the metal's atomic structure. The magical ore can be smelted. Uh, okay, what am I doing wrong? So I need a crystal lens. Okay. Right, now we're getting somewhere. So I need glass lenses, a rock crystal, two aquamarine, some engraved infused wood, some gold, and some ruined marble. Okay, so at least I know what I have to do next. That's a Gehenna gate. Have I already seen this one? I think I've already seen this one. Or not, never mind, I didn't actually take anything if I did. Huh. Mending boots, protection five. And a block of gold. Nice. Okay. I could use this. Anyway, back to getting the ruined marble. Right, okay, let's drop the rest of the ruined marble in here. Ooh, we're building starlight. If I'm clever about this, I can be quick about this. Which is a sentence that 100% made sense. Do not fact check me. Right, um... Glass lens. Aquamarine, like that, and then we put the glass panes in the center. There we go. And we use this to craft. That only made one? Are you kidding me? That only made one. Okay, well, while... While the condenser's out of commission, I'm actually gonna have to manually go and get some more aquamarine. So let's go over to the... the water thing that I know is over here. Let's go harvest some. Uh, right. Aquamarine. There we go. More aquamarine. Aquamarine. Living the dream. The one not part of his team. So he can suck my pee. <laughs> if we're quick about this, we might actually be able to get something done. So, let's just split this up like this. Drop this in here. Uh, and then right click. There we go! Haha! <laughs> Poggers. Right, okay. That gives us enough glass panes that we can put one here, here, here. We can put the gold ingot here, then we put the ruined marble around here. I need to make a bucket so that I can get a bucket of liquid starlight because I don't know where I put the other one. Let's grab that. Let's just put it here for now. No! If you destroy any of that, I will end your entire species. Do not test me. And then we throw the logs in here. They turn into magical logs, somehow. <laughs> and then we need to put the infused wood in a diamond pattern. Like this. No, <laughs> it needs to be done in there, doesn't it? Oh, we ran out of time. God damn it. Okay, so. In terms of progress, we are stuck waiting for that to finish. We are stuck waiting for Nightfall to get that done. Um, <laughs> the only thing I can really focus on getting in the meantime is uh, the rock crystal, but I think I already have uh, just a ton of spare rock crystals, or at least two spare rock crystals in my inventory. I should have two rock crystals in here. These are... Purity 1, Tool Efficiency 3, and Size 3, Purity 2. Now, I'm inclined to spend this one, just because I don't really see myself using the tool stuff. But the fact that I only have two left tells me that I need to go hunting for rock crystals soon. Which wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the fact that to do that, I also have to wait until night time. <laughs> and it's not even midday yet. So, I'm basically stuck waiting to do literally anything. Um... Which, in that case, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare to start doing the infinite iron exploit. Right, hello, uh, sorry to barge in like this, uh, editing drifter here. I needed to hop in here for a second to, um, explain just what I meant by that, because... If I didn't, it would feel like I just mashed two episodes together and the flow of this would not be as smooth as it is. And even I will admit it's not the smoothest. Um, basically, it, it, while I was like waiting on something, I think it was the condenser to do something, um, I had this realization. 
Hang on a second. An iron ingot is worth 256 EMC. An iron ore is worth 256 EMC. One iron ore in this smeltery equals two iron ingots. So one iron ore, 256 EMC, equals two times 256 EMC. Oh god, why can't I do that in my head? That's two carry the one, zero, one, two, three, four, Four, five, five hundred and twelve, I think. Yeah, so one iron ore equals five hundred and twelve iron, which can then be used to make more iron ore, which can make more iron if smelted through here. Have I just... Have I just figured out a way to duplicate EMC? Oh, that is so powerful. I'm going to have to write that down so I don't forget to do it in the main series. Oh my god. Right, anyway, let's let's quickly get some of this gold out of here. And with this realization came an entire tangent uh, where whenever it was daytime and I was waiting for it to become nighttime again in order to do uh, the rituals, I would go over to the, sh to the shack. I, I almost called it by the demonetized word then. But I would go over to the shack and I would do... Well, that. I, I would do that. And that led to me building a second condenser at some point um, in order to not disturb the dark matter production that I had going on at the Astral Temple. Uh, again, I'll just splice in a clip here of me making that second condenser. Low covalence dust, the medium covalence dust, and lastly, the high covalence dust is diamond and coal. You're mine now. Right, uh, prosperity shirt. Diamond! Yes, okay. Thank you, Jesus. Who is Jesus? Right, I just need one. Just give me one piece of coal, and I will combine it right this second. There, give me my high covalence dust. I don't have enough wood for a chest, but you know what I do have? I have an empty chest. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. There is our alchemical chest. Right, let's let's just let's grab this obsidian. We don't want to lose any of it. I think I grabbed enough. Obsidian, 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 obsidian. There we go. We got ourselves another energy condenser, which I can plop down right here as if it's never even been moved. Now the question of the hour is <laughs> Why did I make this thing to begin with? But yeah, I just thought I'd uh, step in here and explain that, because like I said, if I didn't, it would very much feel like I just smashed two completely separate episodes together, and I didn't want to ruin the flow like that. Uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Bye! Oh, actually, no, uh, one more thing. Um, I have no way of fitting this into the video uh, other than now. And I kind of don't want to delete it because personally I just think it's kind of funny. Uh, but I made this sort of little montage thing of me pouring out all of the iron. I know, one of the most uh, entertaining things that you could possibly montage. Uh, but yeah, I'm just putting that here. So, uh, yeah. Bye. The winner takes all. Bow, bow. It's the thrill of one more kill. And the last one to fall. Bow. We'll never sacrifice their will. Bow, 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 bow. So I needed to put Right, the glass goes like this. And the rock crystal goes here. And then the gold goes at the bottom, like that. And then aquamarine in the top. I don't have any aquamarine. Let's go grab some. We can be really quick about this because I, I, I really just want to be quick about this. Okay, and Bish, Bosh, aquamarine. In we go. In there, in the wrong place. The last thing we need, or at least one of the last things we need, is we need some infused oak logs. 
Where are my oak logs? I need a tree that I can cut down. And then, it's in engraved wood at the bottom, and what was the thing in the middle? What's the last thing I need in the middle? It is the Atune Crystal. So, if we put the Atune Crystal... Why are you not working, please? The Ruined Marble! Where did I put the Ruined Marble? No! It's the last thing I need! Come on! Right. No! No, please! It's run out! No! I was so close! No! And it won't shut up! Oh my god. I was so close. I was so close! Oh. Right, okay. We have enough starlight. We can do this if we're quick. So let's just, um... Let's just try and get this really quick. I don't know where my aquamarine has gone. Yeah, I thought I'd be able to do this, but somehow I misplaced my aquamarine again, so I guess not. And considering the time of day, it's it's about to turn daytime anyway. But yeah, <laughs> let's grab this dark matter, because uh, I actually... What, I'm, what was it I was originally trying to make? It was a pedestal, right? Pedestal. There we go. Pedestal. So for that, I needed the dark matter blocks, which is only four dark matter, actually, which is pretty good. So let's just quickly shove that into a block. There we go. Can I EMC this? Is it worth it? Let's chuck the actual dark matter in here, first of all. Uh, let's throw some redstone in there. Can't throw any appetite in. Uh, we can throw obsidian in, but it's not really worth much. That dimensional shards, though, those are worth a lot. Will you shut up? I get it, your magic, shut up! I don't care! Shut the- Why won't it- Oh, I've just run out of EMC, haven't I? Oh, god damn it! I can no longer fly, I just ran out of EMC. But this thing will not shut up! Shut up! How are you still making noise? You're not even here! I hate this thing so much. And we're back, and it's still making noise. So let's quickly drop the aquamarine in. Let's drop the glass lenses in. Let's drop the gold in. Let's drop the engraved wood in. Let's drop the, uh, ruined marble in. And finally, let's drop the crystal in. Where is my crystal? I can't think of where they might be, other than maybe my backpack. But I know I didn't put them in there. See, I've only got my one rock crystal here. So I'm just confused more than anything now. Like, there's no secret inventory they could have gone in. There's nothing in my cosmetics bin. I don't know where I could have put it. Is it nighttime or is it just raining? Let me check my clock. Uh. It is. nearly daytime, which means I just. I spent the entire night in that cave like an absolute idiot, which is great for me. But yeah, let's just, uh. How are you still making noise? Whatever. Let's drop, uh, the dimensional shards in here. There we go. That's another dark matter block. We just need two more. Great. I've been a good boy. Give you. You tried to kill me. Jesus Christ. Oh, if I couldn't fly, I'd be dead. But hey, at least I found another ravine. Hey, maybe we can look for some dimensional shards when we're done. I just want a rock crystal, man. That's all I want. Just give me my rock crystal, dude. No. No, you don't get to break right now. You don't get to nearly kill me and then break. This isn't how it works. It is nearly midnight. I am M-I-A-M-I -M -I running out of time. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. I know, I know, I know, I know. I, I don't deserve this. I've been a good little baby boy. I am just a little gremlin child. I am just a goblin. Please, I have done nothing to deserve this. Oh, it's midnight. Smell faster, you prick! Smell! And give, 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 
give, give, okay, okay, pickaxe, time, pickaxe, time, sticks, right? Pickaxe, pickaxe, doors, teleportation, astral temple, over here, just look for the hole in the ground, look for the hole in the ground. <laughs> Come on, you've got this. Down to bedrock. Here we go. Here's the rock crystal. Take it. Take the rock crystals. Right, cobblestone. No, 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 no. Yes. And no, 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 no. Yes. Size two, purity one, shape one, collection rate one. Purity two, ritual weight two, collection one. Ignore the creeper. Ignore the creeper. Just put the crystal in. There we go. And right click. Yes. Yes, come on. Please. Please. No. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. This is my moment and you will not take this from me. Come on, please. Give, give, gimme, 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 gimme. Yes! Holy f we have the crystal lens! We have the crystal lens! It has purity too, but I don't care! Oh, we have, we have, we have the crystal lens. Oh my god. Fuck yes. And now that we have, no, no, no. Right, now that we have the crystal lens, we can make. We can make the... T no, we could already make the telescope. What was it? It was it was the sharing discoveries. We can make stardust. Because we could... We can fire the crystal into the iron ore. And this is just such bull... None of this is scientific. Ah, yes. Let's blast the starlight through the crystal into an, into an overzealous f magnifying glass to turn this iron into f star metal. You think, the thing is, the thing is, put, I really just want to put the crystal down and do it. I just want to put the crystal down and do it. But I'm not going to. I'm purposefully holding back my chimpanzee brain from doing that. Because knowing my luck, I will put it down, not be able to pick it up, and have absolutely no idea how to use it. So you know what? You know what? I'm gonna say mission accomplished. I'm not gonna overdo it. I'm gonna put this in this chest for safekeeping, where it won't be harmed. I'm not gonna bother making the telescope or anything like that, because it means having to wait for night again. I'm just gonna focus on making this pedestal. I'm just gonna focus on making this pedestal. I'm gonna have to do a lot of work for that next episode, or at least prepare in the meantime. Maybe in between episodes, I'll do something with the smeltery. I'll, I'll look into setting something up. Um, but yeah, either way, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Starsick, because I, you know, despite my crying and my complaining, I, I do genuinely like filming these. So, you know, if you like to, if you like watching it, you know, leave a like down below. Leave a comment, tell me what you think, and, uh, you know, subscribe if you want to see more, because, you know, like I said last time, if no one's watching these, why am I doing them? Uh, but yeah, with that out of the way, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!